Praise the Lord, Bishop. And today is Monday, 1st August. And I don't want it to sound like a warning. But tonight I had a dream. And it, it was very real. Um, and, and it's like, um, because uh, many men of God uh, uh, are going to throw their support on, on one of the presidential candidates. When you try the Western man, he becomes greedy. You want to create a job for youth, get an evil president. That's my opinion. And for that matter, the enemy is planning assassination, killings, termination against so many men of God in your country. And, 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 and if care is not taken, they are going to attack um, all those who have voices your country they decided to make attempts on my life i just escaped an assassination attempt we had seven people were killed my car was attacked opened fire on my car and kept spraying it with anyway in the video you just saw now is a video of a prophet a man of god apostle apostle francis uh, he was talking about the dream that he had on the uh, 1st of August 2022 and uh, that was like a warning and also a vision from God uh, concerning how the men of God that are stood their ground and are spoken to power in Nigeria what might be for them or what might happen and we see it coming out now if this is true then Nigeria is done and uh, well I woke up and I'm still seeing the picture of those people that lost their life that picture was so clear my my head and my memory i'm still saying it and uh watching the service of the omega fire ministry headquarters today the service was so short it wasn't like a usual service we mourn the people that died and god knows the best god knows what happened and uh, we believe as times goes on the truth will come out the truth of whatever happened will come out but then hey, as the extension of the love of God that we share in the kingdom of God, in the house of God, the family of those people that died, the man of God already said they will be taken care of. And for everybody that does talk without knowing the actual thing that happened in real life, well, then you just hear stuff and you talk. Well, may God continue to be with you. If that is your ministry, continue to do what you're doing. It's okay, it's fine. Uh, I will not stop you to stop doing what you're doing continue to do it but then one thing that i know is that lies can go for a long time but then at the end of the day the truth will always prevail the truth will come out one day truth will come out one day and the man of god apostle johnson Suleiman, already let us know that hey we start saying some things hey, we start revealing some things i remember very clear in 2017 2016 2017 2015 when he began to talk and he began to say some things especially to the government and the whole internet the whole hell break just break out like that and till today things are still happening and i was watching the video of some people that say okay there's they have a lot of evidence on twitter and all that they have a lot of evidence on telegram all those things that they were sharing around but one thing that came to my mind is this a man that you claim that you've busted on one issue or the other and the one of the way that he was, he was busted was through his phone you have his phone number you have every message that you're getting it's from his phone it's from his phone number then you're telling me that the man is not wiser than the yahoo boys <laughs> that are out there that no they have the sense that they don't use the same phone that they used to do regular call they don't use it for any runs like that they are coded even the way they use their network and they don't just use any network like that they're smart one among them so you want to tell me that apostle johnson Suleiman will use his home bank account to be transferring money, to be doing that kind of business transaction. It doesn't make sense. It will be using his phone to the extent that you will. Uh, so, uh, I mean, if you if they don't if they don't catch you once, then I believe there should be sense that, okay, I can't use my personal stuff to do these things. I can use, but then you, 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 you said you have his number. So that's what got me thinking, like, okay, there's still more we need to know to all these things. Someone is lying, someone is cooking something somewhere, and I know for sure that the truth will always prevail. 
the truth will always prevail no matter no matter what the, the truth will always prevail so the service this morning was a short one and uh, everybody's morning uh, we want to believe that god in his infinite mercy we be with the family of those that died and the church we take care of the family and also i mean it's just an extension of love to the family these are the people that have been in the ministry for a long time and uh, i mean that picture keep coming to my head still coming still coming imagine you get out of a crusade you get out of a crusade and you you all departed to arrive at the other end and just in less than seconds those guys are gone what kind of movies that those guys are gone that's a that's a bad picture and a lot of people are commenting rubbish a lot of people are saying a lot of things even at this time at this time a lot of people are saying stuff i'm more concerned about the people that died i mean it's so painful it's so it's so ah but then i mean if this uh like the uh, apostle francis has posted this that he had a dream on the august of uh first of august 2022 and what god showed him about the men of god that are spoken to power in nigeria that people need to be careful which i'm believing that the man of god is saying what he saw if this is true then nigeria governments may god help you may god help nigeria because i don't know where we're going i don't know i don't know i don't know this country everybody is just desperate desperate for power desperate for power desperate for power desperate desperate and in this your desperation you're just killing innocent people you're killing innocent people you share the blood of the innocent and that's why the country pray nigeria pray like crazy we pray so much but nothing is happening in that country if a country can pray that much and they still they still they still their life is still like that then something is not right something is wrong somewhere something is wrong somewhere something is wrong we have a bunch of people that want to you just want to hold an office you want to be in the office but then you guys you don't want to do anything you don't want to do anything and you keep you you you, you keep wasting innocent life you keep people in a, in a very bad system that the police themselves they are compromised the police oh jesus it's just so painful it's so pathetic ah, i just don't know what to say anyway that's just what it is uh the service at the omega fire ministry headquarters this morning was a short one uh we respect we give respect to the dead rest in peace to them and uh, may god console the family of those that died and uh hey. <sighs> it is well it is well and for all of you out there i hope people will caution themselves and find out the truth don't just base don't base your belief on what you hear because these things put people in trouble the trouble might not come today it might not come tomorrow it might come one day stop building trouble for yourself so stop sowing a seed that when they start growing all those people that are that are praising you on the internet they will not be there they will not be there to to to, to pamper you anymore whatever you don't know the root of it shut up and you don't have to put your mouth once you don't know the root of it once uh, what you're hearing is then say then say some people come because they are they, they are they, they, they they've been hurt saying stuff then you buy into it and you take it as if not part of the destiny where god carry give you with that now your assignment you carry another person's problem for head i pray that god will help nigeria may god help nigeria May God help Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching. My name is David Hestrel. Until I come your way next time, thank you so much. God bless you.